what I was saying earlier, right before I got off earlier, was that I did something to my arm. And I don't know what I did, specifically my elbow, my left elbow. Um, so it hurts to do certain maneuvers. Like I can raise my arm, but that hurts a little bit. That hurts more. Um, I had a difficult time brushing my teeth this morning. I had a diff difficult time bathing this morning. Um, putting my seatbelt on. Um, just the things. All of the things that I... Turning the steering wheel with my left uh, arm is not an easy task. And... It's enough that it's bothering me, but it's more because I'm a left-handed person. So I do most everything with my left hand. Um, the good thing is I'm able to do a lot with my right hand because that's just um, how I, I, I didn't really train myself, but I guess I did. I mean, even Early on as a child, I was able to do things with my right hand, um, but I can't write with my right hand. That's the one thing. So there are some people who, you know, they're, they're right-handed and that's all they are. They can't do anything with their left. Um, there are some people that are left-handed and that's all they are. They can't do anything with their right. I'm able to do things with my right um, I'm able to do stuff with my right but this is really very uncomfortable and I don't have a clue what I could have done to have caused the pain that I am and it was worse yesterday it was so much worse yesterday uh, and the to me, the even crazier part of that is that it I don't recall it being noticeable like from the start of the morning, from the start of the day. I didn't notice it until like the middle of the day, the afternoon. That's when I noticed it. So I would think that I would have noticed this kind of pain much earlier in the day but I didn't notice it until the afternoon so I don't know what I did I didn't bump it on anything because it's not sore to the touch it's not tender to the touch um, that's not the, the case at all it is sore when I move it it hurts when I move it so I don't have a clue I don't have any kind as to what I could have done that would have caused this level of discomfort. So it was very awkward to, you know, for me to sleep because um, I'm usually a right side sleeper, but you know, when you sleep a certain way and then the moment you're not able to sleep any other way, that's when you want to sleep that way. So I'm usually a right side sleeper. Like I literally sleep on my right side so much to the point where my right hip has no pronunciation or barely any pronunciation. My left hip is really very pronounced. You can see the, the curve in my left hip. My right hip, you cannot because I'm a right side sleeper. But because I could not sleep on my left side at all because of my arm, of course I wanted to sleep on my left side. So it was awkward. I basically slept holding my arm. Um, and nothing that I put on it to relieve the pain, like icy hot or anything like that, that didn't work. I did take some leave yesterday and that kind of helped a little bit 
but just a very little. And I took some more today, and that kind of helped a little bit. But like I'm putting my sunglasses on, that's difficult. Eating is difficult. That is the one thing that is difficult for me to do with my right hand. So trying to eat with this man, I don't know what I did. I wish I did because I'd go back and fix it. I'd go back and not do it. But yeah, so the day is done for me as far as work is concerned. It is 6 20, 6 um, So my day is done. the husband wants to go out because he's already sent me pictures of two outfits and told me to pick one this man so I know he wants to go outside which means I'm gonna be outside oh excuse me longer than I want to Get, we, we are under mandatory 14 day quarantine and then we have to during that 14 days get the test uh, and get our results back if our results come back within that 14 days negative then we get to come back the only reason that I was out for that solid 3 weeks is because um it took three weeks to get my test results. And when they came back, instead of going back to work on that Thursday, I just waited until the following Monday to go back. So that's why I was out for three weeks. But yeah, one more person has, has talked about, or has called in and said that they were around someone that um, tested positive. <sighs> I'm telling you, people need to be more serious about this. Wear your masks, mask, masks, all of them. Put put all the masks on. Your gloves. Your you know, wash your hands. Stay six feet apart. Don't go out if you don't have to. All of the things because this is just too serious. Um, a high school friend of mine. Both her parents were sick with it. Her father just passed away two days ago. So now they're praying that um, her mother makes it through. <sighs> and this freaking gate. So put, just do what you're supposed to do, people, please. Because this is just, it's too much. 
too much. It's just too much. All right, I can't get this goofball gate to open up. So I've got to go open it up. And instead of having you guys wait for me to do that, I'm just gonna say goodbye again. Peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose and know that I appreciate you. Good gracious.